Hi, welcome to Chef's Review Q&A. I did find a lot of questions for this particular grill uh, from Royal Catering, so I'll try and answer them all. So first question uh, is about the heating surface. Uh, what is, what is it, what's it made of? Uh, so first of all, uh, heating surface is very important for, all, uh, for us chefs. Um, every chef has uh, their preferences, uh, so let me get to it. This heating surface is made of a stainless steel high carbon alloy. So it can, kind of combines features of both stainless steel and uh, cast iron. So what it does basically, just like cast iron, it distributes heat very well and, and accumulates heat very well, so it means uh, once you get it hot, and you know it from uh, if you own a cast iron pan, once you heat it up, it will hold the temperature very, very long time. Therefore, you get very uniform uh, frying grilling results. So, uh, also, it combines the uh, sturdiness uh, of stainless steel, so it is uh, quite resistant to scratches, uh, to uh, scrubbing, but it also uh, gets some of the uh, negatives, let's say. So just like cast iron, it's prone to corrosion. So uh, after you use it, after you've cleaned it with some caustic detergent, you have to um, neutralize the caustic detergent with uh, some vinegar solution, let's say, some acid. Uh, and acid reacts with iron. So uh, in order to prevent that, after cleaning, you have to rinse it properly, dry it and rub it with some oil. The same oil you use for grilling, so that's not a problem at all. Um, apart from that, it will hold for ages. Alright, second question. How high is the device without the collar? So let me uh, get you all the total dimensions. So you have 75 centimeters across. You have 16 centimeters of uh, height. The color is eight centimeters height, so you get a total of 24. Then you get 52 uh, um, of depth. So that's your dimensions. Next question, uh, also about the heating surface. Is it normal uh, that the heating surface changes color when it's being heated? Of course, it is normal. It's a natural process called bluing. So what happens is when the steel heats up, it oxidizes and it changes color. You'll see that uh, sort of uh, rainbow pattern on it. So it goes from green uh, to, to blue to yellow. And there's nothing to worry about. It's an absolute, absolutely natural for this type of steel. It actually even helps. It creates a protective layer. Uh, so, of course, you can get rid of that, uh, but I would advise not to do it too often. Uh, of course, every chef wants to have beautiful, shiny equipment in this kitchen or hers, uh, but it's actually uh, something that you should leave it on uh, for as long as you can. Um, well, after, you know, I used to do it like once a month. Uh, I used the metal paste, a special paste I bought. Uh, for metal, you can get it back to, to factory color. So that's not a problem at all. But honestly, just leave it on for as long as you can. Just clean it as I told you before. Uh, so that's not a problem. Uh, all right, so uh, also a question whether the device can work for eight hours straight. Um, of course it can. I used to work with this piece of equipment and I used to have it on uh, at full speed, let's say, at high temperature um, for uh, 12 hours and more. Obviously the producer will tell you in the instruction manual not to hold it for longer than 8 or 10 hours, I believe. But the thing is, it is made for commercial use. It can withstand that kind of abuse with no problems at all. Uh, all right. Uh, people were asking also how thick the uh, heating plate is, and it's 12 millimeters. And that's absolutely uh, in sort of mid range. Uh, there are thicker plates, there are thinner plates, and this is actually something that works optimal. It is the right thickness, so it heats up really quickly and it holds the temperature for a long time, uh, and that's what the thickness does. Like, you know, you want it as thick as possible, but not too thick in order not to. Um, you, you know, waste a lot of time for heating up. All right, one more question about the uh, oil drainage system, and that's pretty simple. So, as you can see, there's a trough underneath the heating surface, there's a collector hole, and all the juices and excess oil will be collected by this drawer. You can take it out for cleaning. Don't need to worry about it either. That's uh, stainless steel, so you can drop it in a uh, dishwasher. 
Uh, total power for the device is 2 times 2.2K. Uh, so it is quite powerful. As you can see, there's two controls, so you power each half individually, and also you can power it individually, which is great because when the business is slow and you don't need the hot, uh, full surface to be uh, hot, you can turn one side off completely. Besides that, uh, 2.2 uh, kilowatts of power uh, combined 4.4 uh, is much more than a normal wall socket can handle, so you have to remember to put these two onto different socket, uh, sorry, circuits. All right, so that's about it. I hope I answered uh, your questions. I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked the movie, uh, the clip. I thank you guys, and I see you next time.